Sia Kolisi, the first South African black captain, has the opportunity to make history in the United Nations. Yes, just one more time. Well, not one more time, many times after that. But this is an opportunity for South Africa to really go in and make history. We kick off against the All Blacks and then we face the rest of our pool games. We enter in hectic quarter-final, semi-final and maybe even the, the dream final against the All Blacks, whoever it may be. Whoever we meet, it's going to be a special occasion. So I wish all the opponents all the best of luck, but to my Springboks, big love, big respect. You have led us all this way and I can't wait to watch and scream for you along this World Cup. All the best, stay safe, make us proud and remember one thing, never give up. Thank you. Go boys. Hi guys, how's it? Welcome back um, all to my Afrikaans speaking followers and thank you guys for returning to another video for me, pre-game video as we will be rocking up against those Oaks of Romania this weekend. First off, I want to thank everybody for your continued support of this channel. I greatly appreciate every single bit. And once again, uh, as you saw the intro to the video, we are dedicating this World Cup to the memory of one uh, Gareth G-Man Mason walking tall. He's still walking tall uh, up in the heavens, looking down on the spring box and uh, probably cheering louder than any of us down here on earth, man. The guy is totally missed. And like I said, I will continue to dedicate this World Cup to the memory of him and a guy that was gone way too soon from this world. So obviously heaps of news. I already mentioned it here on my channel. The loss of... Let's just come out and say it. The best hooker in the entire world, Malcolm Marks, out with the ACL injury for the continuance of the tournament. There's been all kinds of speculation. Are we bringing Joseph Dweba up? Some have even said, oh, hey, here's the perfect opportunity for Andre Pollard to rejoin the side. Um, my personal opinion, I think Dion Fodi, we've also been told that Eskom... Mr. Van Staden himself has been working on lineouts. Uh, there was a little bit of a bit with him online where he's saying he's been working with the boys. And I, I'm cool riding with Bongi Manambi as our number one right now. Uh, we'll get a chance to see uh, a couple of different combinations this weekend uh, when we get into that lineup. But uh, I don't think the loss of Malcolm Marks, while it is quite devastating, this ain't stopping the train, man. This ain't stopping the train. One guy, yeah, he is very important. But I don't think one man costs us this, this World Cup. I just don't. Uh, I mean, you know, they say, sh you know, stronger together is the motto for this World Cup. I think it really should be built on struggle, baptized by fire. Um you know, you hear about all the time, and I, I don't have to go into great detail, but uh, any of my South African followers can tell you, uh, you're you're hardened. Like uh, this is a minor nuisance compared to the everyday uh, cack, which I mentioned. Obviously, the SCOM issues and whatnot, the load shedding, but this is this is a minor nuisance compared to the day to day lives of a lot of people in South Africa. Uh, like I said. For anybody who's been asking, yes, the plan is still to return in October of 2024. Uh, we'll be hitting up Joburg, Pretoria, going to go out to Durban for the first time where I have to make a special announcement. Also be hitting up Cape Town, but I have to make a special announcement. Uh, I don't know if he's widely told this, but I don't know if any of his family follows. Joshua McDonald, I call him Josh Durban because he lives in Durban. Young Oak, he's been following me since kind of the infancy of this channel. He uh, uh, announced to me that he is an expected father, man. I am very, very happy for that young man and his girl. Um, I think you'll do a great job, bud. We've talked about our, our family issues growing up, and here is your chance to make everything right, bro. You get to do it with you get to you get to be a dad and do your thing and, and make sure your kid never goes through what either of us went through as kids, man. So congratulations, bro, all the way out there. And KZN, Mr. Josh Durbin, going to be a dad, man. Congrats, bro. So let's go ahead and get into what we are here for, which is the Romanian lineups and the Springbok lineups. Very, very, very limited history between these two sides. Uh, last time we, we did play them, we did come away with a victory 21-8. And the point scores on the day were Adrian Richter, 
and Gavin Johnson. So I think anybody with uh, more than a few gray hairs probably knows what year that was. That was the 1995 World Cup, <laughs> the pull round of 1995 World Cup. Um, yeah, I still remember it. Not like it was yesterday. It was a couple of weeks ago for me, but uh, I do remember it well. Um, we get a weather report. Bordeaux, France is the host for this weekend's action. It is going to be cloudy and 21 or right around 70 for my North American followers, which isn't that much hotter, colder than it is here. It's like 25, 26. It never got out of the 20s yesterday here, which is amazing. <laughs> amazing. Um, I still, like I said, still picking the box by a lot, but we'll go ahead and get through this lineup. And I, and I have to go ahead and apologize. I do have a colleague at work that is Moldovan. I had planned on going over the lineup with her so she could help me pronounce these names correctly. Um, but I took today off of work because we're having some plumbing repairs done on the house here. So I did not get a chance. So forgive me for the names I butcher. I'm sorry. I'm not super familiar with Romanian names uh, unless their name is Nikolai Ceausescu. <laughs> That's really all I can tell you about Romania. Um, they are coached by former Oaks Romanian uh, Romanian national team, Eugene Epoch. Um, Epoch. Uh, he had a handful of caps for Romania. The starting front row will be Ulian Hartig, Avru Kujakuru, and Alexander Gordos. Adrian Mutsuk and Marius. Oh, God, this is going to be a bad one. Uh, in, if to Mikuish. I'm bad. I'm sorry. Like these names are hard for me to pronounce. Uh, those will be the locks. Andre Gorin, Vlad Nakula, and Christy uh, Sharika, who is captaining the side, will be the back row. Gabriel Rupanu, actually born in Romania, will be the scrum half with Hinkley Vunavasu, who is actually born in New Zealand at fly half. Nicholas Anastu and Tevita Manamoa, who is a Tongan born player, will be the wings with. K uh, Taylor Gonstanak and Jason Tumani, who is born in Australia, the centers, and Marius Simonescu, Simonescu, I think is how you would pronounce the last name, will round out the starting 15. A 6 2 or a 6 2 split coming off the bench for the Oaks with Robert Aramescu, Alexander Seven, and Thomas Kritu will be the front row replacements. We get Ste Stefan Anku, will be a lock replacement. Uh, Damien Stratila will be a back row replacement and Christy Bobosh will be the other back row replacement. We get a scrum half and fly half replacement for the Oaks with Alan Kanachi and Gabriel Pop, respectively. Now we go over to a very, very, oh dude, it's not even, it's extremely insanely interesting uh, pick for Jock Nienaber and co with the starting 15 for your mighty, mighty spring box. We will get a front row consisting of Oxen Che, Bongi Manambi captaining once again, and Vincent Clock making his first start in, God, it's had to have been three or four years since that man got a start. Uh, John Klein and Marvin Ori will be the locking duo to start out the game with Escom himself, Marco Van Staden, Quagga Smith and his ugly nose, and Thor, Dwayne Vermeulen at number eight. Jakobus Kobus Reinach, son of Jako Reinach, definitely invoking the spirit when he gets open field, will be the starting scrum half. And of course, uh, oh, and with who I predicted to be starting at fly half, Damian Valenza. Makazoli Mampipi, the veteran, will get the start at left wing. His opposite will be scrum half, Grant Williams. Now, I have heard various reports in various box saying, that Grant Williams is actually the fastest guy on the entire team. I have heard it. He is the fastest guy on this entire team. We will get the A combo of Andre Esterhusen and Kanan Moody at 12 and 13. That is, oh, we are going to ride those two young men to the promised land, I promise you. And Willie LaRue, the veteran guiding traffic from the back. A 5-3 split coming off of the bench this week. Our replacement front row will be Dion Forty at hooker, Steven Kitsoff, and Trevor Nakane. RG Snaman, the Viking himself, will be a lock replacement with Jasper Visa being the 
number eight and or flanker replacement. Jaden Hendrickson, scrum half, Fuff the Clerk, scrum half, and Jesse Creel will be our back replacements. Now, we have dressed four scrum halves for this game. Four. Obviously, Grant Williams at wing, Kobus at number eight. Do we ride Kobus the whole game? Do we replace him with Jaden? Do we replace him with Foff? Where do we put Jason if we, Jaden, if we, uh, Jaden, Hendri- J- excuse me, Jaden Hendricks, uh, if he comes in, I know he has played a bit at fly half. His brother is a fly half for the Lions. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out. This is going to be an interesting little thing here. I, I really do like some of the play around playability that we're having here. And I'm always mentioning it on social media. I, I feel that everyone else is playing checkers and Rassi and Jock are playing chess. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. I, I do predict a very, very lar- large margin of victory. I think it would be even worse if we had Kurt Lee playing in this game. Um, I'm predicting at least a 60 point victory. That's my prediction. Just because we saw a French B side yesterday struggle to beat Uruguay in the first half. When they brought on their bench guys, it became obvious. Yeah. Don't really feel like we're in the same situation with the spring box. Cause I would, I would play Vincent Cock every game if I had to. I would play Quagga Smith every game if I had to. I would play Dion Forty every game if I had to. I don't really feel like we have I, we have a, a a less than perfect starting fifteen, and then we have a perfect starting fifteen. I don't really feel like we have a B side. A lot of these teams, I feel like, have B sides. I don't think we have a B side because I would ride with any one of the thirty now thirty two available guys. I'd ride with any single every single one of them. It's just, and it's, it just is a statement to the depth that we've built as a team. And if you want to see the opposite flip side coin of that, go look at the all blacks. That's what happens when you don't build depth. Uh, I know they play Namibia later today. I am going to watch that game with great intrigue because the things that have killed the, the, the all blacks have been one, they don't have any depth and two, they've been horrible at discipline time, discipline wise. Um, Sam Whitelock will tie Richie McCall later today uh, for the most caps as a Springbok or as a All Black. He wishes he was a Springbok, so he will pass Richie McCall in this tournament more than likely for most caps as a All Black in history. But um, I just, like I said, I'll go back to it. It's a testament to the depth that we have on this team. Is Malcolm Marks the loss of Malcolm Marks hurt? Yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. He's our he's the number one hooker on the entire planet. It sucks. Do I think that's the thing that takes us out of contention for winning this? No, I don't. Not one single bit. And remember, guys, we've got a quick turnaround on this one. We play on Sunday. The following Saturday, we play Ireland. So whatever nicks or whatever we need to get squared away, here's a perfect chance to do it. If there's any ideas that we think have we have not gotten a chance to institute yet, here's a perfect chance to do it. Because I think we are going to... I don't think this is going to be France and Uruguay. This is going to be a completely different situation. That's just me. Um, But with that being said, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time local kickoff here. Peacock app. If you want to watch it domestically, you can't go to a bar because they're not open at that time in America or at least on Texas on Sunday. But uh, I will be going live. I'll be posting the link to that shortly. But um, yeah, once again, it'll be another great weekend of rugby all across the board. We've got... Chile and Samoa, Chile coming out their very first game, doing pretty well in the first half against Japan. So it's the Rugby World Cup, folks. There's always something to watch at this time of year. But um, with that being said, man, I hope wherever you're at in the world, you are safe, your family's safe, you are happy, you have what you need. Um, And uh, I will see you guys all on game day. Cheers, guys.